hello welcome to this video of uh, punch out integration in Dynamics AX or D365 we are going to see how a punch out integration is done in Dynamics AX with an external e-commerce shopping URL for example we have Amazon we have Staples we have Granger so there are many e-commerce sites which can be directly integrated with the D365 finance and operations what it does is it enables us to create a purchase requisition and from purchase requisition it allows us to connect directly with an e-commerce shopping cart yes we can connect to an e-commerce shopping cart from a purchase requisition page in D365 F&O. We can create a shopping cart on e-commerce site and what it is going to do, it is going to pull the shopping cart into purchase requisition. So that is the linking. So that is the first integration step. The second integration step is once the requisition is approved it's it will be converted to a purchase order and purchase order can also be integrated with an e-commerce site it means the in the first step we created a shopping cart right so it means that is not yet confirmed that's just a quotation for an e-commerce site it is not yet order that is still in that is still called a quotation in the e-commerce site until unless we confirm the PO once we confirm the PO in D365 finance and operations it is going to connect to e-commerce site again and it is going to confirm the purchase order from F&O to e-commerce site so what's the advantages of connecting and this integration the advantages is uh, you have a real-time pricing from e-commerce site you have real-time inventory coming directly to your um, F&O and you do not have to punch the purchase order again on e-commerce site so it's all electronic okay so once the purchase order is created in e-commerce site e-commerce site is will ship the goods and uh, once the goods is shipped we need to do a product receipt in uh, F&O receipt and invoice that's a manual activity as of now Microsoft is considering to integrate that as well but as of today we have the integration up to purchase order so let's see how this integration works navigate to procurement and sourcing and uh, create a purchase requisition later at the end of this video we will see what are the prerequisites what are the setups required for this integration first let us check the integration how does that works all purchase requisition click new give a requisition name let's say staples punch out testing okay click ok we have a button here called external catalogs click here and a window will be pop up click on open in browser here you will see the list of all the e-commerce site which we have done the setup in the system so that setup we are going to see after this video later maybe at the end of this video so what options we have we have requester we have buying legal entity and the <coughs> operating unit which is attached to the employee card you can also change the entity if you want to raise this uh, punch out or requisition for some other legal entity from this drop down you can also change the requester uh, for example you are going to raise this requisition on behalf of some other employee 
which is in your procurement list that also you can do so let's click on open in browser it gives a pop-up just a message that it's going to connect to us with an external site click OK you trust that external site because we know we have linked what it is going to do it is going to connect with an external site we have linked so this is uh, my testing site connected within from uh, d365fno and then you continue uh, your shopping here for example I want to buy this okay so I have few options let me select this sanitizer increase the quantity and then I'm going to select one okay click on add to cart and then if you have some other items to purchase select it once you are done you can click on review and check out as of now I'm going to select only one item I want to keep it simple review and check out it's confirming to submit an order click on submit order what it is going to do it is connecting back to d365 fno this is called shopping cart wizard okay so it is confirming the quantity it is confirming the unit price procurement category this is very important uh, this integration does not works with the inventory item it will work only with the procurement category yes procurement category so because um, we do not have the item part number here and the part number from the website is different so this whole integration works with on the concept of procurement category here you see issues if you have any errors it gives a warning message here as of now I do not have any error it means this is okay then I'll click on add to requisition button there you go it has created the purchase requisition lines check the quantity price net amount and uh, currency good thing is it also has the vendor account we will see uh, how the vendor account has come up here there is a setup for this so we will that we will see at the end of this video if you have any financial dimensions to select enter that and then we can submit the requisition seven and okay let me chill, select this then workflow submit okay comments and then click submit so it is submitted let's approve the requisition it's it will take couple of minute to create the workflow entry it depends on the server configuration and the server speed looks like my uh, this environment is little bit slow there you go it has created the workflow entry and uh, let me reassign to myself and uh, approve it for testing purpose okay close and uh, refresh approve the requisition let's wait for a couple of minutes to get this requisition approved 
what it is going to do it is going to approve this requisition and it is also going to convert to a PO automatically so that setup we have already done in this system bear with us with a couple of minutes bear with me okay good status is approved it should also change to closed very good we it is closed and uh, if you see the number here this is the PO number 102 click here to see the PO and uh, everything is okay click on confirm the PO okay status is changed to confirmed now navigate to procurement and sourcing see uh, XML management and then purchase order request you may not see this module of PO integration because Microsoft has not yet released this uh, package they are going to release it in the future editions how I am able to see this uh, PO integration it is through request from Microsoft we wanted to in implement this for one of our client if you have such request so you can of course reach out to Microsoft for this PO integration PR purchase requisition integration is already there in the system with the version but PO integration is not yet there in standard Microsoft version as of now as on today um, you can approach to Microsoft if you have any such request but in this video I'm going to show how this PO integration also going to work because I have that functionality enabled okay so click on purchase order requisition there you go you see the last one 102 is in waiting status what we need to do now we need to push this purchase order to e-commerce site it means this is a confirmed we are confirming the PO to e-commerce site that my purchase order is confirmed you please ship the goods until unless we uh, it is in waiting status this PO is not confirmed to e-commerce site okay for confirming it click on purchase order request and click on submit job you can schedule this uh, at a regular inter time interval whatever you want so you don't have to do this manually as of now I am running this job manually because uh, this is just a testing for me click OK click refresh now you see the status has been changed to sent and acknowledged it means the e-commerce site has accepted your purchase order request they are going to ship the goods mm, as per the timelines so this is about integration of two parts requisition and then purchase order now let's see the setups required for this uh, we need to set up first a vendor so for setting up a vendor we need we need to go to accounts payable module all vendors I have done this setup for staples okay so you will need to create a new vendor once you create a new vendor give the name of the e-commerce site uh, done the necessary setup of group select type as organization and uh, enable this box under purchase order defaults tab enable send purchase order via CXML it means what it is going to do it is also going to integrate your PO if you disable this it's it will be done only till purchase requisition PO uh, is not integrated okay so this is the setup and uh, we also need to link the procurement 
category on under general tab categories so if you observe you know this was the category was showing to me on the shopping cart so link the category is here which you want to select on the shopping cart okay so this is the first setup uh, another setup is external catalog for external catalog go to procurement and sourcing under catalogs go for external catalogs I created this one staples beta test so you need to create a new give a name description check box this if you need to open the shopping cart e-commerce shopping cart in a new window check this, this box 365 days expiration it means um, it's it's going to be active at least for 365 days uh, punch out type is CXML so this is the major um, protocol type offered by many e-commerce sites so select CXML activate we are going to do it on the last vendor tab uh, search here the vendor name it's will be you will get the list from the uh, global address book link it here this will be automatically created this record once you select the from the global address book another major uh, setup is procurement category mapping here you are going to see the list which we have mapped it on the vendor card we have only staples on the vendor card so it's going to give me a list of only this okay next is the major one is the message format I'm going to attach a test format uh, on my blog do check that so the whole crux here is the message format the whole integration works based on this message format I'm going to attach that on my blog please do refer uh, the order and sequence of this message order format is very important let me pull uh, that for you okay so this is the message format okay what uh, it has is it has something called credential here you need to enter the ID Rep the e-commerce site is going to give you one ID so link it here and uh, domain they are going to tell you what should be the domain they are going to tell the credential domain ID again shared secret is the password the e-commerce site is going to provide to us Okay, and give the email ID and then another important URL is this one so this is this is the URL of your uh, d365 FNO if it, if it is a sandbox so just replace this URL with till here to here is the sandbox URL if it is dev production so you replace that this is a common page ID page name this remains same irrespective of the environment URL this is the URL where e-commerce site is going to connect so that completes this setup thank you do like this video thank you